Question, what would happen if you jump out of a driving car? In a shorter form of answer, you will likely get injured pretty badly. But in a longer form of answer, it depends. Firstly, to try to understand what would happen if you jump out of a driving car, we would first of all have to break down all the forces that are acting upon you from the perspective of physics. So here we go. There are mainly three forces that could really mess you up once you jump out of a car traveling at a certain amount of kinetic energy. Let's break it down. First force that will mess you up, gravity. Once you jump out of the car, gravity will immediately pull you down at the acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared, which if you've watched the previous video, you should have have a pretty good concept of the gravitational constant. More on that later. Based on the formula of Newton's second law of motion, F net equals ma, with m standing for your mass and a standing for your acceleration. So if you were to land on the ground at exactly one second, the force which you generate when you land can be accurately measured by 9.81 times your mass. And based on Newton's third law of motion, every action will carry an equal reaction. All that force that you've just punched into the ground will subsequently bounce back to you, which will probably cause some pretty serious damage depending on the hardness of the surface you land on. Second thing that will mess you up if you decide to jump out of a driving car like an idiot, the state of inertia. This one's pretty straightforward. Based on Newton's first law of motion, an object will either stay stationary or remain in uniform velocity unless acted upon by an external force. This law then suggests that even once your body is outside of the car, you'll still be traveling at the same velocity as the car towards the same direction carrying the same amount of kinetic energy. This then explains why those who jump out of a driving car will roll towards the direction of the car rather than towards the opposite direction. But wait, if your body out to remain in uniform motion, why do people eventually come to a stop after they've jumped out of the car? Great question. This will then bring us to the third force that will mess you up if you decide to jump out of a driving car. Friction. Friction is the stopping force which will in turn decrease the velocity of a traveling object and eventually make it stop. In the case of jumping out of the car, the minute you land, a tug of war will be initiated between your inertia velocity and the kinetic friction on the ground. The friction will try its damnedest to try to stop the uniform motion from the state of inertia, and the uniform motion will slowly decrease due to a lack of acceleration. In the process of this turmoil, you will be heavily injured and bruised, your clothes will be ruined, and your body will be severely damaged, all thanks to the warfare between your uniform motion and the resistive friction. Now there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or even coming by to thequirkyinquiry.com for more strange questions yet to be solved. Take care.